We gotta do something to get ahead in this world. Yeah. You call me? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I'm supposed to go all the way over there to check on a fucking ramp? Yo, Christopher, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Get that motherfucker! Yeah. Get him! Seatbelt! Fucking seatbelt! Yes! Yeah. My drink water, bubble aqua. You know what happened to Christopher Moltisanti? Yeah, somebody blew him up. Yeah, it was us, me and Sean. It was what? You? Sean is fucking dead. Christopher killed him. So what the fuck are you doing here? We did it for you as a favor. The fuck are you talking about? Because you don't like him. So what? He hit your niece. Jesus, are you fucking crazy? That's all I need now for that two-faced ungrateful fuck to think I had any part of this. You gotta help me, man. I'll help you. I'll fucking help you! You gotta hide me. I'm with you now. Who told you to do that? Get out of here, you dumb fuck. I'll kill you. How could this happen? How could this happen? Hi, sweetie. They took the tube out of his throat, so now he's breathing on his own. But he took a lot of damage to his spleen. They might have to take it out. Oh, my God. I Jeez. know. I'm so scared. Oh, hey, hey, listen, listen. This guy, he's, he's a tough kid. Anybody can make it through something like this is Christopher. You hear me? Look, you got his holiness. That's good. He got shot, too, and survived. Look! Look what they did to my son! My son, those little bitches! Fucking vodka. When you find him, I want him to suffer. You hear me, Sil? I want that motherfucker in agony. Don't worry. We'll do the best we can. Gismonte, with a G. The kid who died, right? Well, you never heard of him. Huh. Well, him and his friend, Matthew Bevelock, were around with Malti Santi. Never saw him hanging out with your buddy, Christopher? I thought you'd want to help your friend. days already. I thought they were going to move him out of the ICU. I think right. he's getting better. Good. You got to pray for him. Hey, you got to pray. We are. Jesus. Oh, I don't know what I would do, Uncle Rich. I love him so much. He's going to make it. I don't want that fuck here. I told him that. He's full of negative energies. He said he'd only come back here if he had something on Matthew. Start talking. Back the fuck off. All right, all right. What do you got, Rich? Word is definitely out on the street on this uh, Bevel Lockport kid. Tommy Biondi from OTB came up with a name. A dealer named Quickie G. He's been in the Bing a few times. Well, it might have been this other prick, Fast Fatty. <sighs> all right, I'm telling you, this won't take long. I give this Bevelacqua kid five days for somebody who brings his ass to us to score points. No, really. If I had any reservations at all, I'd suggest we move him right away. But this is the best trauma unit in the tri-state area. I'm up on all the ratings. Oh, thanks, Hesh. Oh, yeah. There's no news yet. Tony, it's 
Dr. Rubin. Uh, Mr. Moltisanto suffered cardiac and respiratory arrest due to internal bleeding. He was resuscitated. The bleeding was brought under control, and he's now in stable condition. <sighs> what was the duration of the arrest? About a minute. Is he still intubated? Well, they're removing the ventilator as we speak. What the fuck you two talking about? The worst is over, but he was clinically dead for about a minute. Doctor, can I go in and see him? No, he's going to be in post-op for about four or five hours, and then he's asked to speak with Mr. Galtieri. Me? He asked twice for you and Mr. Soprano. Uh, 